Immigration seems to be very good for many people. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Ms. Marcos, can I just start with you? You testified a moment ago to Senator Butler that every child gets a Know Your Rights presentation. Is that correct? That is correct. Is that before or after you release them to labor traffickers? <laughs> guy. Kids, today we're going to learn about human rights. And I'm going to leave you with the person where you don't have human rights. Senator, every child that comes into our care gets a Know Your Rights presentation as well as... Have you read these New York Times reports, these stories, the, the series of stories the New York Times has done on the children who are in your care? Have you read them? Yes, I have. Have you read that children are scrubbing dishes, they are operating heavy machinery, they are delivering, delivering meals, they are harvesting coffee, they are working construction, they are working as housekeepers, they are working overnight shifts at plants where they are not paid, they are not going to school, they are not cared for, they are not giving meals, almost all of it illegally. Are you aware of that? But let's look at the positive side. At least they learn a little about human rights. That's a yes or no? Yes. Do the Know Your Rights presentation help them in those situations? Senator ORR. Uh, That's a yes or no, I think. I, Do you really think that you're helping these children by releasing them to labor traffickers and yes, sex traffickers, 85,000 children whom you have no contact with. And your answer is we gave them a presentation before we turned them over to these people who are exploiting them on a scale not seen in this country for a hundred years, a century. Because you teach them something. Hey, you got human right, American dream, go work. It's a disgrace in the United States of America. Let me ask you this. You did a an audit I noticed where you gave yourself a clean bill of health. So just, just tell me this. Do you require sponsors to document their relationship with the child? Senator, we have a thorough vetting process. Disgusting! Do you require sponsors to document their relationship with the child? Yes, we go through. No. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to laugh. It's like, I, 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 I don't get it. I hope he has proof that she didn't vet these people. You process. do not. You, you do not. Have you read the Senate's Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations reports on your office? There was one in 2016. There was one in 2018. There was one in 2020. There was one in 2022. Spanning administrations, what they found is you do not require sponsors to document their relationship with the child. You release them anyway. They had us the first half. I'm not going to lie. What about background checks? Do you require background checks on all adults in the household? In cases where the child is being released to their parents, we do not require um, background checks. I can't cope anymore with this. This is just stupid. This is a clown show. I never trust this organization that gets a bunch of money, but all the money is to maintain the infrastructure. These people are not even getting help. They're getting used. But Senator, I do, would do you really require like background that. checks on all adults in the household in any case? Yes, in some cases we do. At what percentage of cases do you do background checks on the adults in the household? I, I don't have that. Do you do home visits in all cases? You can actually see where these children are, are being released, who you, whose care you're putting them in? That's racist. They cannot do home visit because that's racist. Senator, I'd really like the opportunity to talk about what we are doing. You, I know what you're doing, and it's, it's incredibly and totally inadequate. And we can read about it in the New York Times. Let me, since you say you've read it, let's talk a little bit about that New York Times report, if we could. Here's a quote from the April 17th installment. Again and again, veteran government staffers and outside contractors told HHS, including reports that reached the secretary, that children appeared to be at risk. Did you warn the secretary that children were at risk? Senator, I'm in regular contact with the secretary. And Did you warn him that children were at risk? Safety and well-being of children is our top priority. Did you warn him that children were at risk? I'm not going to get into the conversation. It's a question related to your job. They should fire you on their spot. You're here and you're under oath and this is an oversight hearing. And we need to know what you're doing because you're manifestly not doing your job. Did you warn him that children were at risk? Do you believe that children are at risk? Let's start with that. Yes. Finally. Okay. Did you warn the secretary? Senator, I'm not. Fuck 
going to get into the specifics of my conversation, but I would like the opportunity. Why to wouldn't talk you about, warn the secretary that children were at risk? I would risk. like the opportunity to talk about what we. Let's are look at doing. what the secretary said to you. At least five HHS staff members said they were pushed out after raising concerns about child safety. Mr. Becerra, that's the secretary, told the ORR director, that's you, right, that if she could not increase the number of discharges, he would find someone who could. And then he went on to say that if Henry Ford had run his plants like this, he would never have become famous and rich. This is not the way you do an assembly line. Get the kids out, run them through, get them out to those sponsors, those traffickers. Why didn't you resign when he said this? Do you think that this is morally acceptable? Senator, I joined ORR in September of 2022. I believe that was reported prior to my arrival, but I cannot but speak This is from the article this year. I can't speak to what the secretary... Do you think that this is said. acceptable to run, to, to run ORR like an assembly line and to release these children I to traffickers? You, we do not run ORR like an assembly line. The safety and well-being of children is our top concern. And by Plainly statute, not. Plainly, it is not your top concern. There's no way you care. There's no way you care. Because the moment you release a kid with the supposed parents, that sometimes you don't even sure. You didn't do a blood test. You just, hey, they kind of look all the same. God's sake, you're a bunch of frank degenerates. So I assume they are from the same freaking family. You have this stupid, logical, racist way to suggest things are working properly, but then you don't even check to be sure if they're safe because it goes against against your ideology because it's racist if you have to investigate. I'm like, yo, that is the best criminal organization because you can just give people, they cross over the border, they disappear, you don't have to investigate. Well, I'm out of here. Goodbye, everyone. You don't have to invest with the money of your infrastructure. You just release, get the moral points, give it to bad gangster people, get the money from the gangster people. And I'm like, how can I have one eye and I still see more than these people? And she had four. Plainly, it is not your top concern because you have managed to lose 85,000 of them. And the Times knows where they are, or two thirds of them. And they're with labor traffickers. So say it with me. Si, se puede. Why am I laughing? It's so stupid. You, you, who, it, it, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. Hey man, I know man. It's unbelievable. Let me just ask you this. How many kids right now, the 430,000 approximately, unaccompanied children have crossed the border under this administration? It's an astounding number. How many are you in regular contact with right now? Senator, we have a number of different providers across the country but what's the number different... what's the number how many of you are you in, you said child welfare is your top concern what's the number i don't have the specific number how can you not know because... you have to be proud to know this number to defend you cause so you can help these kids that you really help but it seems you care about getting the money from the people where you're sending these kids all i can say is have a heart lady safety and well-being of children is our top priority all can say is have a heart lady because why would you come to this hearing and not know um respectfully if you would like us to provide comprehensive case management to children after they're released from our care so we can respectfully i would like you to do your job and not release children to human traffickers respectfully that's what i would like i'd like you not facilitate the largest child trafficking ring in american history the moment there is a money flow and people are getting richer that company is gonna get corrupt like any other company that i've seen especially when it's used for an ideology immigrants come over we accept you all congratulations you played yourself but anyway i just wanted to let you guys know this because i was kind of shocked when i saw her face and i thought hey this might be a good feature so I can comment that and I guess what, I think it's very good. It's eye opening, yeah. Bunch of eyes. Like, share, support the Cyclops and see you guys in the next one. Peace.